vibe is a vibe mm -hmm. in Johannesburg and this um this meetup was probably exactly what I needed mm -hmm. not probably it was exactly what I needed when it happened it was um a group of over 35 African American and African sisters living here in Johannesburg South Africa it was the SA sisters end of the year meetup and it was emotional it was powerful and I was so grateful to be in attendance at this meetup. Um, welcome to my channel. I'm Ashley on my channel, Ashley in Africa. I talk about my experience of living and doing business here on the continent of Africa. If that sounds interesting to you, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, like it and share it with someone, share this video with someone who would find value in it. I was having a consultation with an amazing sister who is in Japan. Um, and she's been an expat for several years and we were just talking about her plans to move to South Africa. And I told her, yeah, there's a huge, you know, diaspora community of black women. And she was like, I need to see that. Are you going to record it? And so I was like, absolutely. I'll work on it. Y'all know I am not a vlogger, but I got some really, you know, good content, what I could get, you'll see that in this video, um, but more so than the content, and I hope you feel the love and you feel the vibrancy through the content, because it was just a beautiful gathering of women, retired, working entrepreneurs. Um, I'd say the majority of the women were African-American women living here in Johannesburg, South Africa, living in peace, living in prosperity, living in their purpose, having an easier life abroad outside of the US. And um, it was beautiful. I was honored to be there. There were women that have lived in South Africa for over 35 years, some 20 plus years, some seven plus years. Some had just arrived back from the US um, that are visiting and making their way and had been here for three days, but it was beautiful. I was the only one who brought my girls cause they pretty much come everywhere with me, but I was happy that they got to see um, other black women making choices for their life and choosing lives that are fulfilled, that have more purpose, more peace, um, making the hard decision and saying, I'm going to decide to live a life of choice outside of the US. And it was beautiful. We all introduced ourselves, sharing what we do personally and professionally. Um, we got to make connections. This group chat, I think has over a hundred women in it. and really from all over South Africa. Um, but you got to put names to faces, faces to names. And it was just, it was a beautiful, beautiful experience. <laughs> right? <laughs> so that we know who you are, what you do, and how we can all start to engage with each other. Um, this is my first time meeting um, Bijo. Um, we're both in the wellness area. Well, that's my passion area. My other area is I work with the city of Johannesburg for the Smart City office. So that's my real job. That's the job that pays for this <laughs> My passion project. Hi, y'all. Uh, my name is Red, or AKA Aria. Oh, most, people, most people call me Red. Um, I've been here for about a year, and um, I work in HR. I specialize in retirement, administration, compliance, and strategy. Um, and I work for a U.S. company. That's it. <laughs> I've been here about a little over a year. Um, I'm a program director for an international girls uh, empowerment nonprofit. So, nice to meet you all. <laughs> I, know, I know how to work a mic. <laughs> gathering of women, Black American and South African women. A beautiful day.
If you have a desire to live outside of the U.S. and you're looking for um, an on-the-ground expert that can provide you with resources, insights, feedback, and a strategic plan, book a call with me, book a consultation with me so I can teach you how you can absolutely achieve this life. I'll walk with you through a strategic plan on how you can best prepare. We'll talk about the different costs of living. I'll share with you my recommendations on neighborhoods, um, cost of living, resources, professional resources, personal resources, everything that you'll need to make your transition possible. I'm seeing even more people inquire about a life outside of the US. And I'd say that if you're feeling this call, you're not wrong. Listen to yourself, heed to your intuition, because as a Black woman living here on the continent of Africa, I've never had more peace, um, more awareness of self, um, living in an environment that values me, not just tolerates me. And I can only speak as a Black woman, but I consult families, Black men as well, um, and this is not to create a sense of fear, but there is a level of urgency. There's a lot happening in the world. And if you're feeling this feeling, there's a reason why your desires are there. So trust them, book a consultation with me, and I can help you to achieve that life. If it's not with me or it's someone that resonates with you, trust yourself, take action and invest in a life of choice. And I know you'll be glad that you did. So until the next video, I'll see you soon.